Spring rolls make a great party or a snack food. My sister was telling me about how much her family loves this, so I had to give it a try. My intention was to make vegetable spring rolls, but then I started experimenting. In this recipe, I used a handful of green beans, a handful of cabbage, and a handful of shredded carrots. I also used a tiny bit of this pulled pork I showed you earlier. In a pan, add some olive oil, add your mixed vegetables. I kept it kind of chunky because I like the extra texture, kind of like how my tita Emma does it. I'm heating the vegetables for a minute or so while I combine the seasonings. I'm adding a teaspoon of jarred garlic, a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon, I'm adding a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Add some pepper and mix to combine. You don't need any salt because those other seasonings are pretty salty. But taste and adjust your flavors. I'm making a flour slurry with a couple of teaspoons of flour and a couple of teaspoons of water. You could also use egg wash if you prefer. This is the brand of the spring wrappers I'm using. I bought it at an Asian store, but you could also find it at Weiss Markets if you have one by you. Place a moistened paper towel over your spring rolls to keep them damp so they don't dry out. Peel at the corner. These sheets are very thin and stuck together. Place your sheet on the diagonal and get ready to fill them. Place a tablespoon or two a filling towards the edge. You can make them as thin or thick as you like. Roll the corner, tuck it in, fold the sides and roll again till you get towards the edge and use your flour slurry to seal it to create a nice little spring roll. Just showing you again because sometimes it takes a little practice and sometimes you have to readjust to make sure that it's nice and tight. Don't be discouraged. This recipe made nine, perfect for a snack. Fry it in your favorite oil until light golden brown and crispy. You can even make this the day before and make it easy and fry it the next day. Mmm, you gotta try these. Make them your own. Goes great with Thai chili sauce, duck sauce, sweet and sour, or hot sauce. Thanks for watching. Take care till next time. Happy cooking. Please like, subscribe, and share. Take care.